Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. Just a look into our garage here. Uh, today we're going to do a little bit something different. Now, my journey with RC began uh, about 30 years ago, and uh, I graduated onto full size cars after RC, and then got back into it with my kids, and that was the inspiration for Race and Learn. Uh, regardless, what we're going to do today is we're going to try to revive an AGM battery or absorbed glass mat. It's a, basically a sealed lead acid battery here. This is an Odyssey Extreme PC 1500. Now I used to have a, an Odyssey battery in my uh, my first RX-7, uh, a PC 680 if I recall. Um, super lightweight battery there. And the, the advantage of a, an AGM battery is that it doesn't off gas. So the battery in my RX-7 was actually mounted in the rear passenger bin for better weight distribution. Uh, so regardless, these AGM batteries are pretty good when it comes to being able to handle a deep discharge, but sometimes it will reach a point where you can't charge it with a normal battery charger. Now, uh, thanks to Mercedes Source, uh, they run a YouTube channel for all things Mercedes. Um, I picked up this tip to try to revive uh, an AGM battery. So, credit goes to them for the ideas for this. Um, we'll see if it works here. So, basically I'm taking some jumper cables. I'm going to apply the negative clamp first to the negative there on the dead battery and then go over to our relatively fresh battery on our Accord here, 03 Accord. So, negative to negative. All right. And then, we'll rest this over here. Then we'll apply the positive. Positive, and I'll, I'll include the link to the original video, or rather the video by Mercedes Source here uh, in the description, the video description. And then I'm going to apply the positive to the positive. So the theory here is that I'm just going to make sure that this is clamped on a little bit better. That the the good battery will charge up the dead one to the point where you can apply a, a, a normal charger to it. Um, usually battery chargers will uh, you know just not be able to to charge a, a, a lead acid battery that um, is uh, is that it registers as dead or bad. Um, now this particular battery was just showing uh, basically, I think it was like 0.86 volts or something like that. So I don't know if this battery is just too far gone, but uh, we're going to go ahead and give this a shot. I'm going to go grab the voltmeter. All right, so we've got our voltmeter here. Go ahead and lay that down. And let's see what we're, we're seeing on the battery here. Okay, so now it's reading at 12.4 volts which is great. The next step uh, is to attach a battery charger there to the um, to the good battery. So uh, that charger is not plugged in. You don't want it to be live pushing out power. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put it over here. Attach the battery leads. Positive and then negative. And then I've got the charger set up on 12 volt 6 amps. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. And alright. So 
The charger isn't registering anything over here. Oh, I don't have the other end plugged in. All right, so now with the other end of the charger actually plugged in, let's see what we're getting over here. That battery is registering at, what is that, like 25%, a little bit less than 25%. So we're gonna go ahead and leave this uh, just charging. Um, I forgot uh, what Mercedes source did specifically. I, I, I think uh, I'm gonna go back to that video. Uh, I think they, they charged it for for quite a while here, or maybe an hour or something like that, and then came back uh, to see the state of charge. But we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, leave this set up here and um, and get back to this uh, and see what where uh, the battery stands. So uh, let us know what you guys think of videos like these. Um, we'll have a second episode here because this video is getting a little bit long. But uh, let us know what you think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you next time. Thanks again for, thanks again for watching.